fam. What's going on? It's me, Peter, here, hanging out today at the Encore offices. I'm officially in one of our pods, which is this right here. Cool little, like, section. So, that's where I'm at today, here at Encore. But, what's going on, people? I'm right up. Hi. Oh my gosh, hey. I can't hear my volume so low. Okay. Oh my gosh. Hey, what's up? There we go. Good. Just like trying to get settled into my new room. Yeah, so, I had to change that. rooms in this hotel. <laughs> oh my gosh. Where are you right now? Tell the peeps where you're at. Yeah, so currently I am in Atlantic City. Um, I was doing the uh, Monday qualifier qualifier here for the LPGA ShopRite event. And then I'm just going to skip over that one because it was horrible for me. But um, now I'm playing in the Pro-Am event, which is two days. Um, and yep. it's like the biggest Pro-Am event, event that the LPGA has all year. So Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so cool. Just letting everyone get on real quick. Um, and just sure. so everyone knows, we are doing a live Q&A with Armana. She is amazing. She's an incredible golfer. And she rocks the Encore Elixir. So we thought we'd yes. just stop by today, ask you some questions, um, some longer questions, and maybe a, a few quick questions at the end. And if you guys out there have any questions for her, you can click the sticker icon on the bottom and write some questions in. If we don't get to those today, which we might not, we will definitely do this again, maybe sometime in the future, right? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Perfect. All right, let's get started. You just told us where, where you were at, but just give us a quick bio on yourself, like what you're up to, what you do, um, all yeah. that. Yeah, sure. Okay, so for people who don't follow me, my name's Armana Christensen. Go follow I'm, her. Yes, <laughs> please. Go follow her. <laughs> um, I'm a professional golfer, um, touring professional, so I don't teach. I actually go and compete. Um, I probably compete 20 to 30 events a year, depending on what my schedule looks like. Um, and I base myself out of Scottsdale, Arizona and Burbank, California. So a little bit of both, um, when I'm not on the road. So cool. You're on the opposite yeah. side of the U S we're over in Buffalo, New York. So that's so yeah. good. It's well, just like, right now. yeah, I know that's true. <laughs> it's just like, it's getting nice here in Buffalo to a point where we don't have to wear jackets anymore. So yeah. just like to a point we can walk outside with a t-shirt on and it's like, whoa. This is great. Yeah. Uh, I love it. I Definitely love it. Definitely been like that in Arizona for a little while. So. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I bet. It's been pretty nice there. <laughs> yeah. So I think one of my questions, kind of a selfish question, but I'm just wondering, like, when did you decide you wanted to be a pro golfer? Like, where did that start? What was that moment like where you're like, hey, yeah, like, I want to be a pro golfer? Yeah, sure. So I, I really wasn't the kid who grew up thinking that I was going to play golf let alone be a professional golfer. Um, I didn't pick up golf till I was 13. So it was right before high school. Um, so, and even in high school, like I started out shooting in the hundreds. So you, I don't go into high school thinking that this is going to be a career option for me. Yeah. Um, by the time I hit the end of my senior year, I'm shooting under par. Then I go into college. Um, still don't think it's an option for me. Um, yeah. And I get to the end of my senior year, and I decided I was going to graduate early okay. uh, for college. So I only went for three and a half years. So technically, yep. I still have half a semester of eligibility. <laughs> um, but I didn't really think about it until that final semester. And a new assistant coach for my college turned to me and said, you know, I think that you could give this a shot if you wanted to. And I was like, Really? <laughs> That's awesome. And so, yeah, and so, um, you know, I've, I've sent him a message since then and just said thanks for letting me know that this was an option because in Nebraska it just doesn't yeah. feel like it. Right. Um, right. And so it took me until August of the next year and I moved to Arizona um, and I stayed AM for a while. I, yeah. I didn't turn pro until a couple years ago. So, okay. yeah, so that's, that's kind of so cool. a weird story. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's such a cool story. It's so random how it just, like, it worked out, you know? Like, uh -huh. you didn't even know you could do it, and then just took someone to push you to be like, all right, I'm going for it. Yeah, That's definitely. awesome. That's awesome. So it's kind of the beginning of golf season here in Buffalo. So I'm wondering, like, what are your golf goals for this year? Sure. 
Yeah, so... Because um, I'm kind of planning that out for me. Yeah, uh, I forget that everyone else is, like, just starting their yeah. <laughs> whole year yeah, yeah. and have it stopped. Yeah. Um, you know, I have some pretty lofty goals this year. Um, the, the biggest one for me is to improve my status with Symmetra Tour. So um, I hopefully will have to go back to Q School Stage 1, yeah. but that would depend on if I get into the events that I want to get into this year and make right. some cuts. Um, so improving my status there is always a huge goal for me. Um, and I would say win a tournament is a great goal. Um, yeah. but you know, they tell you to not make that a goal cause you can't control the field. <laughs> right, right, right. So that's which, a, that's which, a uh, which tournament would you want to win most? Oh gosh. Um, put me on the spot. <laughs> There's so many. I mean, honestly, at any of them would be fine. Any of them. Let's win them all. Let's go for them all. <laughs> any of them. Any, any of them is fine. Um, yeah, so those are those are some big goals. And then I've got some smaller, like, statistical goals with yeah. my golf um, as far as where I want to be at with my greens and regulation. And I've really been working on my putting a lot. So that's starting to yeah. come together. Um, yeah. So, yeah, some different goals there. That's awesome. And guys, if you aren't following her on Instagram, go follow her. She like posts all this stuff on her stories, like the putting stuff you've been talking about a lot and all that. So guys, go follow her. Um, so next question is, um, I'm thinking like habits on golf days or even off days too you can talk about. Like what are some habits you have? I know like when I played baseball in high school and I had a game, I'd like only put my sock on my right foot first and then left. Like do you have any like superstitions or what are your habits on like golf days? Um, so I'm like really anal when it comes to matching. Um, so it like, it's, it's bad. So I, I bring, you know, several different pairs of golf shoes when I travel so I can make sure that my outfits truly <laughs> match all the way. So, um, so much so that I, I've talked about this one on my own feed too, that I match the color dot on my golf ball to my outfit. Okay. So that's like. I probably have 30 Sharpies in my car to make sure. <laughs> so many Sharpies. Sharpies everywhere. <laughs> yeah, so I make sure that I, I completely match. Um, besides yeah. that, um, I don't think that I have any other superstitions. I started to get into the little bit more trying to create habits um, yep. before I play. So getting nice. into some meditation before I go out onto the golf course and yep. a true like pre-round uh, warm-up. Yeah. Uh, like workout kind of warm up. Yeah. Um, so yeah. yeah. And then of course my pre round like practice. Right. Exactly. So. What do you use for uh, meditation? Do you use an app or do you just do something on your own, like a breathing technique, something like that? Or Yeah. So I use Headspace, the app. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So Thanks. they have um, just like three minute ones that I yep. use in the mornings. I can just sit in my car. And it's just quiet and listen to that for three minutes. And then in the evenings, I'll even do some other ones. Like there's a whole competition section and they're 10 to 15 minutes long. And so you can kind of work on meditation that way too, specifically for competition. So that's awesome. Love yeah. It. That's so cool. Yeah, that's cool. yeah. So recently you changed over to the Elixir. I did. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Maybe for people who are on the fence, like, I don't know if I should try the Elixir haven't heard about it much and stuff like that. What do you have to say to them? Sure. Well, I would tell you that I was probably one of those people. <laughs> yeah. because it's not something that I saw very often. Um, I had played with Tanya before, so I knew that she was playing the, the um, encore golf ball. And I was like, well, yeah. okay. I mean, Tanya's playing it, so I'll give it a shot. So I went out and I practiced with it for a whole week and had it on the launch monitors, and yeah. honestly, it was, it just exceeded my expectations when I tried this golf ball, because I've tried, you know, I don't even like the Titleist golf ball, because I think it's too firm, Yeah. and so the Elixir for me was soft when I needed it to be, but still had low spin on the driver, and then I could still back it up with my wedges, right. so it had, like, it covered all my areas and I didn't lose any distance. Um, so that's a huge one for me too. Yeah. And then, yeah, like I said, the spin rate was perfect. Perfect. Yeah. 
So, yeah. Awesome. Glad you're loving it. Yeah. For all you, guys, all you people out there who haven't tried it yet, go to EncoreGolf.com. You can check out more about all the golf technology and all the things that go with it. Check out more reviews. Do what you guys do when you're looking for golf balls. Um, so I just want to do a quick question round. Maybe we'll call it quick hitters. I don't know what we've done before, so we'll call it quick hitters. Okay. And I'm just going to ask you a quick question. Answer as quick as you possibly can. So question one, in your ideal golf round, you are walking or riding? Walking. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. If you have time for one pre-round warm-up, is it driving range or putting range? Or putting green, sorry. Putting green. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Interesting. Which of these two <laughs> events would you rather attend, the Masters or the Ryder Cup? The Masters, hands down. Mm -hmm. Same, same, definitely same. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a big one for me. At the course, your cell phone policy is, it's in your pocket, in your bag, left in your car. Never in the car. Okay. But it depends on what I'm doing that day. Interesting. So if I'm there to like work on stuff and practice or a tournament round, it's always in my bag. But if I'm like doing stuff like I was doing for you guys with the right. takeover, right. then uh, it's yeah. in my hand all day. <laughs> when you do a story, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's so good. Yeah. And then last question: the greatest golfer of all time is Tiger Woods or Jack Nicklaus? Tiger Woods. Ooh, Tiger love Woods. it, love it. Good answer, mm -hmm. great answer. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us today. Everyone out there, thank you for stopping yeah. by, saying hi. Um, go follow Armada. I'll tag her in a few posts after this um, live so you can go follow her, check out her stuff. Um, any last words for the people? <laughs> no, just thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed my like quick little Instagram live with Encore. And yep. uh, if you guys have questions about the ball or what I'm doing, just hit me up. Awesome. Thank you. We'll do it again soon, all right? Sounds good. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.